Lawmakers are outraged after the I team first reported transit police dissolved its SWAT team. That same team celebrated for helping capture the Boston Marathon bomber. WBZ's chief investigative reporter, Shelfie Andaka, explains. We got him. They captured the Boston Marathon bomber. Seven years later, the transit police says it no longer needs its elite SWAT team. Yeah, I think it's a really bad decision. These types of teams, these emergency services teams, they're the folks you hope you don't need to use. But when cops need to call other cops to get out of a bad situation, these are units that are calling. I mean, the skill set that they possess, the specialized training, you need these people to be available when that call comes in. The I team first told you about the MBTA's decision to disband SWAT last week. Today, a dozen lawmakers sent a letter to Transit Chief Kenneth Green questioning the rationale of the decision. In a statement, the MBTA says the part time unit of five to six officers had not been deployed in several years. It went on to say that crime rates on the MBTA are at their lowest levels in decades. And the decision was made to maximize the department's limited resources. But some lawmakers say public transportation has long been a target of terrorism and needs a specialized SWAT team. Having these specialized teams that possess these capabilities, they minimize the loss of life. I hope we'd have an interview 30 years from now where we, they didn't have to use this team once. But that one time they may need to use them, they better be there. Lawmakers say they also want to know what the budget for the SWAT team was and how much money is being saved by eliminating it. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl, thank you.